Hey, listen. Um, I just want to tell you something about Jackie, man. Okay. I want to talk about Jackie real quick, all right? Okay. You guys played Best of last week where Jackie quit the show, right? Right. You think that was a wake-up call for Jackie? What do you mean? I mean, you really wouldn't use... I mean, he's a good writer and all, but would you really use the word indispensable in describing him? Well, listen, every guy in the show is important to me, but... I'm not going through any more of that with Jackie. <laughs> I really decided it. I decided it. I don't know. It. Every year you sort of say this. <coughs> I don't know if you're serious this time. Watch me. If it's true, I want to be the first to welcome Jackie back to the line. I'm all, the by the way, I'm all the. I'm the first one to stick up for anybody on the show who wants more money because I believe that we should get, all get as much as we can. But no, I just don't want to get. Yeah, I don't think it should be a salary cap. But you know, I'm all for. And I, I'll, and I back Jackie up to a point, but I can't get caught up in it. It's not your job to go and negotiate yeah. for him, which you do every year. And I don't think that, I don't think there's any pleasing Jackie. So and he never appreciates. It. Right. So I just I don't want to be around it. <laughs> so I'm just saying, you know, give it your best shot and then get out. Uh, Thanks. Thanks, dude. All right, man. I don't want to be there for that unpleasant trait. <laughs> I mean, we'll just have to find a way to do the show without Jackie. It'll be hard, but we'll we'll we'll, suffer. we'll find a way. We'll suffer through. I'll, I'll find a way. Write my letter tonight. Yeah, really. Well, I'm up anyway in November. Who knows what's going to happen in November? I might end up pulling a Jackie. <laughs> I might end up being a difficult one. They might sign Jackie, and I'll leave. <laughs> Jackie, you'll have a a contract, and yeah. you'll be gone. I'll negotiate for you. How does this work? No, well, that's all right. I'll pass on that. Yeah, really, Jackie. I'll, I'll... I want to leave on good terms. <laughs> Jackie burns bridges before he's crossed them. Yeah, I have everyone in management coming to me and going, how do you work with him? I go, what do you mean? They go, not that, you know, we understand a negotiation, but he's repulsive. <laughs> and I go, really? I go, I don't see that. I, don't, I mean, he's an okay guy. They go, no, 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 he's just repulsive. I wonder what he says in these moments. I don't know. But they, they get completely fed up, and they go, look, that's all we're paying. And then I got to step in. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't want to do it anymore. I'm tired of it. Not only, it's not even that that's all we're paying. It's like, I don't want Jackie working here. <laughs> yeah. yeah they, they say to me, we don't really care if Jackie works here. We don't want him here. We don't like him. Well, then why am I here? Because of me. All right. But I can't do it anymore. I don't have the Constitution to start fighting your battles. Maybe that's why you got sick. No, that's not why I'm sick. I, I had it with you. <laughs> <laughs> I gave up on you. <clears throat> I'm feeding you to the wolves this year. Good. But you might be in luck, because I might be fed to the wolves. <laughs> Go hand in hand. Right. Might be wolf season. Right. But I don't want to sit there. I don't care really about the money, Howard. How does it work? Because he goes into negotiation. You don't have anything to do with it. I, I don't even know he's in negotiation. I don't then, find out. Do you get a call, or do does he call you, or does somebody else call it's, you? It depends on the year. I mean, uh -huh. some years Tom has called me first, or Jackie calls me first. Uh -huh. Either one. <laughs> so why don't we just do the whole thing on the air? Then? And what does Jackie say when he calls? Well, I didn't want to make this call. The last thing you need to be bothered with is me. But I do feel we're the Beatles of comedy. Oh. I just want to let you know. Can I come over and talk to you about this? Oh, no. Yeah, he wants right. to come over? Yeah, he comes over. So then he comes oh, over, geez. and he drives up in his brand new Volvo. You know, whatever it is. He, whatever new car he has. His Volvo station wagon. Yeah. He's always got something new that's <laughs> at least over $40,000. What he needs a station wagon for? I guess Joke Land has yeah. to be car. You are so <laughs> cold that I can't believe so he comes in, in there. So he comes in with his new, comes in with his new car, <laughs> and his new everything. Yeah. Yeah. You, you and his new car phone. You know his his Sony state of the art um, yeah. huge TV screen. <laughs> yeah. Which he which, when we met him he had nothing. <laughs> but Robin wants to know why Jackie needs a station wagon. Uh -huh. You've never seen Jackie leaving for a gig on a Friday afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Packed up those LL Bean bags, right? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. They're filled with all the t-shirts and sweatshirts, all and right. they're marked on the, on the handle. It's marked small, medium, large, yes. extra large, double XL, and then there's 12 different colors. It's like an anal retentive got a hold of his there's luggage. There's tapes, there's CDs. I mean, oh, uh, boy. he brings his own microphone stand. It's yeah. out of the back. Hey, look, you know, when I go to do a show, and I'm, I've done two hours on stage, I don't want to be leafing through my bags looking for smalls or mediums. i got to know right then and there when I'm selling this stuff. <laughs> you think the station right now? You think the station wagon's too big. It's like it's spilling yeah. out. Yeah, it's a comedy train coming through. <laughs> Can't deny any of this. Yeah. <laughs> I have each bag marked 
Then when people just hand me a 20 and they go small, I can just reach into the bag. Every time I go into a comedy club, it's like setting up a store. Well, the key is you've only got a, <laughs> yeah. the key is you've only got a certain amount of time after the show. Right. People aren't going to just hang around. Right. So if you don't get no, I, I have a theory that people get hypnotized for about 10 minutes after the show, and they get into this frenzy, and they go, "Oh, I got to have a cup, and I got to have a, a T-shirt." <laughs> you got to they... strike while the iron. Yeah, not. and then they get home the next day, they wake up and they see all this junk right. they just spent all this money for, <laughs> and like it's laying there, and they go, well, "What am I going to do with what this?" The hell? It's got writing all over. Yeah, I mean, this is not a shirt I'm going to be seen with. Already left town. Right, and Jackie's already out. <laughs> He's got the money. The money spent. I got T-shirts, mugs. In fact, you see, the reason I never sold T-shirts and mugs is because I was afraid. Of that point when people came to their senses, they'd be yeah. mad at me and lynch me. <laughs> and there it is, a constant reminder. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that you ripped them off. You, you know what else is a cool thing? I don't know if Jackie still does this, but, but Jackie used to play places that were so bad that he actually used to bring a mixing board and his own microphone and oh his own mic stand. <laughs> what do you mean he used to play places that were so bad? <laughs> so, and then he comes over the house and it's like, you know, uh, I didn't want to say this, but, you know... They're not listening to me, and, you know, I really tried to make some sense out of all this, and, you know, I really, I don't, I don't, you know, they look at me like when I first came here, and they won't give me more, and even though I'm not heard on the air that much, I make an important contribution, <laughs> and Fred, you know, I'm not trying to compare myself to Fred, hey, I don't care what Fred gets or Robin gets, it's what I want. And I don't even care about the money. Because you know me. I was a hippie when you met me, and I'm still a hippie. Me and Nancy are like hippies. But we don't even care about the money, but, you know, it's the recognition. And, you know... What the hell are you talking? Oh, this doesn't sound familiar to you at no, all? No, no, none of this is familiar. I'm making this all what up. What is wrong with him? I don't know. What is wrong with and, you know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll, you know, listen... When I got, I just got into comedy like three years ago. <laughs> Everyone thinks I've been doing it my whole life. I was in a band for like ten years. So I just got into comedy. I'm already doing great. You know, because everyone I know busts my balls and says I'm not doing great. But hey, I'm doing pretty damn good. And I don't know, I could leave here falls flat on my ass. I don't know, but I'm a hippie. And if I fall flat on my ass, fine. But if I don't, hey, maybe I, you know... Maybe I'll write a screenplay. I don't know what, what screenplay have you written so far. Who has time? Yeah, who's stopping him from writing now? I don't know. <laughs> Somebody. You know whether your screenplay will get picked up before you leave. Well, here's an answer for that. Oh, yeah? Well, you know how tired we are when we get out uh. here. <laughs> and then we go out and do gigs. <laughs> who has time to write a screenplay? <laughs> I go, well, what screenplay are you thinking of writing? I'm not. I'm just saying. <laughs> if I had some time, I could think about one. Well, how do you know you could write one? I don't. I'm not saying I can. Well, maybe I'll just punch up screenplay. <laughs> I say, well, who's going to have you do that? <laughs> have you really thought this through? Hey, no. I just know what I want. Yeah, have you got some offers, some nibbles? No. <laughs> then he goes through this thing where it gets really bad. Then, like, then I go, well, you know, I'll go talk to everyone for you, Jackie. Hey, hey do what you want. Oh. You know, he's angry. And then what happened? And then, of course, I have to come through. Yeah. For that you fix money. everything. Yeah, I fix everything, and then I'm just tired of it. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, hey, let him go negotiate with this station. If it doesn't work out, then that's it. Party's over. The Beatles and comedy are gone. Because every time it's like, uh, I appreciate your looks gift. like Jackie's out yeah. of here. <laughs> appreciate your gift. Not a gift. It's just that you're the only one that we have to go through this with, so I don't want to deal with it. Looks like he's out of here this time, boy. He's got everybody really upset. <laughs> Yeah, and then everyone in management comes to me and then says, you know, why why do we have to put up with this crap? I go, well, hey, come on, the guy's real good. He's a team player. I think he should get some more money. Yeah, we offered him more money, but now he wants even more money. It, just, it, it gets real embarrassing, yeah. and I'm negotiating for him, and I just go, you know what? And then I got to smooth everything over. They go, I don't care. We don't want him here. I go, well, what do you mean you don't want him here? He's obnoxious. <laughs> I go, well, that's his fault because he doesn't have anyone negotiating for him. And he's never really worked, so he they, doesn't they go, know. Oh, no, they, have, they, they all say to me, we, he has somebody negotiating for him. You, you sucker. <laughs> I go, okay, I hear you. I go, he's not such a bad guy once you get to know him. And after you smooth everything over yeah. and fix everything, and then he gets what he wants, I suppose, mm -hmm. what happens? No, he never gets what he wants. He always, you know, he always comes back, you know, he's a little whipped, you know. Uh-huh. 
Meanwhile, he got everything he wanted. Yeah. But he's like, you know, oh, man. Well, I guess it worked out. <laughs> it's like, yeah, of course it worked out. <laughs> what, did you think it happens by magic? Yeah. <laughs> and he never says, oh, thank you. Or... Nope, never. Nope. He just goes, hey, I'm glad it worked out. Hey, I deserved it. Got my check, spit on it. Yeah, right. What? <laughs> And I'm always the one saying to him, Jackie, think about the money you make and think about all the clubs and everything. I said, just, you're going to toss all that away to go back. I don't care. It's not about the money. If I never go out there, I'll never know. Yeah. That's the one line I always love. Yeah, the guy's meanwhile, he's 50 years old. I don't see anybody knocking on his door. And then every time when he's quitting, he always sends out letters to like, like he'd send out letters to Kennison and yeah. Dice and yeah. all the comics that we work with. That he's available. That he's available <laughs> for writing. And he never gets one letter back. <laughs> I'm not supposed to know about the letters, <laughs> but all the comics call me and read me the letters, and we start with goof, and they go, hey, Jackie, they go, hey, Jackie just sent me some kind of letter. I go, what, what kind of letter? He's available to work. I go, to do what? I don't know. I don't want him. <laughs> Dice, I don't know, sends them to me, and we start goofing on the letters. Well, as you know, I have been an employee of the Howard Stern Radio Show for many years. It has now become... Uh, known in the industry that I am available for writing jokes. I, if you would like to contact the services of Jackie the Joke Man Marley, <laughs> please call my representative Nancy Siriani Marley, where work and payment can be arranged. Thank you, Jackie Marley. <laughs> President. <laughs> President of <laughs> our rocking. It's like a hole. <laughs> and then he, he sends out the letters. And, of course, it's always embarrassing when, you know, like Kennison would call me and die. So, yeah. You know, George Goble. Oh, <laughs> you know, Goble. Anybody. Anybody. Goble. Anybody you can write to. <laughs> I am now available for writing. So I, I see these letters. I go, well, if you're available for writing, why don't you write for me? <laughs> I, I'm paying more than you'd ask for from these guys. No, not you. I stand on principle. <laughs> Kook. It's amazing. I'd rather do five dollars a joke from Joan Rivers. Then he says, right, for Joan Rivers, she's paying him five dollars a joke. And he's happy. How many jokes would he have to write to make up for the lifestyle he'd lose? A million. Left if he left here. A million jokes. <laughs> and I swear to God, up to about 15 have to minutes for. ago, I was really hoping your book would do well. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to enjoy watching it sink into the sea. <laughs> Yeah. Because if you're unhappy, I'm happy. <laughs> but it's a whole thing. Build a house with those and I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> It'll make you happy. I'll resign for next All right. year. Starting right now. Thank you. Why is he he's always, he's always resigned. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. He's always you're to me. You're saying, I have fought for you. He's my shorts. It's always to me. I just can't do always it anymore. Why are you going to attack it? I'm belligerent. Yeah, you're belligerent. And then he goes, <laughs> then I'll say to you, All right, I'll quit right now. You want my resignation? Well, I'll save you the problem. And he's always ready to give in his resignation. Oh, he's all, I mean, ready. I banned him from using this newsroom typewriter. He always used to sit back yeah. here typing up resignation letters. That's, Jackie, that's get out. The guy's got a computer, but he's got to type here his resignation oh, he letter. he can't leave without resigning. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> he's got to resign today. And the letter's always embarrassing. <laughs> I always felt, for our purposes, that we were number one. And that I would share in the profits of being number one. Yeah, you would think that. I deserve more money every day. <laughs> you would think that. Yeah. You would Show think that. Show me your bottom line. <laughs> yeah. I want you to open your books to me, <laughs> Infinity. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen sometime soon. He's like a jilted spouse. <laughs> I know. Oh. I just don't want to hear about it. Oh. <coughs> Just go in and deal with them. If it can't be reached, leave. And just don't even tell me. Just don't go. Don't call, Howard. Don't call. Just, just type go. up a letter. You go. Have my word <laughs> Thank you. Don't call me. Don't talk to me. Don't even give me a rap about how you're a hippie. I don't want to hear it because I don't believe you're a hippie. Don't say any long goodbyes. Yeah. Because I remember one year he stopped by and had an individual conversation with everybody yeah. about breaking up the Beatles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Robin. <laughs> In all seriousness, now, now we I'm are the Beatles. To, now I'm starting to realize how you could believe that that <laughs> book that you wrote is true. I know, it's like breaking up I know the this Beatles. is like reality to you. 
And maybe, you know, yeah, you could get somebody else, but who knows if the chemistry will be the same, you yeah, know? Yeah, I'll take a chance. I'm ready to take a chance. <laughs> okay. How about, uh, I don't get anybody. I'll just rely on my own chemistry. <laughs> All right. See if I can make something out of not this. Not everybody can just fit in there. I'm not sure he fits it. <laughs> I'm still not sure. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I've been in. That's, that's right. realistic. Uh, 500 years I've been here. Oh, oh. I proved myself. Uh, we got a good rhythm down, you know. Yeah. Oh. I'm not saying it can't be. I'm real replaceable, but you don't even know. Oh, oh. I could go away and, you know, have really big success. Yeah. That's his other threat. You know, I'm not saying the show's holding me back, but, you know. I went into comedy three years ago. Now look at me. <laughs> and who's to say I'll leave here and I won't become like a huge attack? <laughs> and if I don't, well... Uh, again, I, then again, I can fall on my ass. Right. <laughs> look out. But I believe in my towns. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we all know the speech. We don't have to hear it this year. you got to be out of your mind to stand up for yourself around here. <laughs> Out of your mind. What are you talking about? You heard me. <laughs> All right, let's take a break. The Jackie Mullet over. <laughs> and we'll be back no, for wait, wait. But Now, who was it yesterday that said that that was great when you were breaking my balls about the contract and you should do another 20 minutes on it today? Was it Ronnie or was it Don? Nobody. Was it I Al went to bed at 5 o'clock. I didn't get to speak to anyone about the show. Just wondering. That's my just... caller just called in because uh, he wanted to talk about you quitting on it. Every once in a while, Jackie, I get inspiration on my own. Okay. Every once in a while it happens. Just making sure. <laughs> All right. Well, just to be pissed at you and Robin or Ronnie, too. <laughs> no, no, no. Just be pissed at me and Robin. Okay. All right. And even if somebody else had anything to do it, we'll take the blame. That's right. <laughs> All right. Let's take a break. And when we get back... Um, <laughs> I, I gotta... Are you here when we get back? Uh, that's up to you. I don't know what your contract is. You walked we'll off the floor. We yeah. never know if you're coming. We'll in. talk to We're never sure. <laughs> Remember that time Jackie shut showed up? We're going to come <laughs> And then showed up again. Yeah, I know. We thought he was gone. And then he was back. And then he just walked in and sat down and started writing like nothing had happened. I know. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even say he was back. No. He just came in and started working. Yeah. And he was angry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it worked out. <laughs> We just replayed uh, that one where Jackie quit for the first time. Right. It was like three, but we replayed it while you were out last week. And his letter is really funny. You know, we're number one for our purposes. Yeah, that's always a good letter. It's <laughs> <laughs> a that's great class. bit. That's a great bit. <laughs> All right, we've got to take a break. We've got a lot of faxes about Jackie. He says, uh, please elaborate, Howard. You keep saying that the show is holding Jackie back. Holding him back from what? Poverty? <laughs> <laughs> why, why don't you just admit, Jackie, that if it wasn't for Howard, you'd be in some sleazy comedy club with one toilet and no lock for the stall door? Okay. Now you have enough fame and money to buy a jetty. Be happy, you hippie. <laughs> <laughs> Be happy, you hippie. <laughs> there you go. Here, you saved that. You can stare at that. At the yeah, that's much. good advice, Jackie. I want right. you to read that every day. Thank you. Don't say I wrote it. <laughs> Be happy, you hippie. <laughs>